got us some new bottles, baby. And they really are new. As in, like, new to Alaska new. They just got here today, and here they are. I was in line this morning. Um, I beat some of the employees to the store to make sure that I could get my hands on these because I have been reading and watching and hearing all of this stuff about these and I really wanted them for myself and for this bar to review for you all if I can get into this one. and so that's what I got up early for this morning to make sure that I was there at the store before work so these were really cool I, I love the bottle shape and the bottle look. So let's go ahead and go over them real quick together. And I, I wanted to experience the cork pop with you. I haven't, as you saw, I just ripped the tops off these. So this one is the Holiday Toast at 115 proof. This is batch number seven. It is a double oak uh, finished in toasted new American oak barrels. So, are you ready? Here we go. Get a good hold of this just in case it's really weird. You ready? Oh, that was great. Dang. I like the brand real well already. So, a little bitty sip. We got to drink four, so we don't need. Ooh, that smells good. All right, next bottle two is the Frenchman and this is finished in French oak barrels right yeah French oak finished in new French oak barrels 113 proof oh the last one is a little loud Ooh, I like that this is a good pop that's a good pop just a little pull just a little pull, a little wee one. So, third bottle, we got the Workhorse. And this is just straight bourbon whiskey, uh, 97 proof. Nothing, um, no finish on this one. So, ready? Oh, I love it. It's great. All right. So, last but certainly not least, the 15 year proprietor. Now, this one is the real, real workhorse, 126.7 proof. As I said, it is 15 years old. So this is the oldest uh, bourbon that I have in the bar. This is also the most expensive bottle I currently have in the bar. Oh man, that's a good cork pop. So, yep, let's get started. We are going to work our way from my left, your right, toward the 15 year to see how it works and see what kind of flavors we got. So, first off, the holiday toast. We're gonna get into a little toasted barrel. Now, I haven't had a sip at all, all day, and it was hard. Because I got these, came home, dropped them off, and then went to work, thought about them all day, and now I come back, finally get to try some. So, on the nose, oh, wow, that smells good. It smells, it smells like toast. You can smell the toasted barrel, the char in there. You, you really can smell it, and it smells good, like, like really good. Right. On tongue, cheers. That is so sweet. Honey and maple, molasses. Wow, that's sweet. But it's proofy. That's a child. 150. I'm glad we started off with triple digit. 115 proof is the first drink of the day. Well, hello. All right. 
So, let me see. This is the Frenchman, if I remember right. Yep. <laughs> and we're only going to knock off two proof. So, let's see how this one compares to its real close partner, as far as proof goes. Oh, this smells like French toast. Like all of the French toast. The syrup. Uh, on the tongue. Cheers. Mm. Oh. So. That's got a really unique taste. So. This has got more of the maple and the French, you can, you can tell it was in a, a French oak bottle. Um, I think it's the Maker's 46. They have a very comparable palette. What I will say though is, where's the hub? This makes you feel a little lonely after having a sip of this. Like there's a lot of Kentucky hugging this one. It's like a family get together. You know, they get in there and hug a little bit. And this and it, it, not so much, more of a handshake. So, all right, let's see what happens when we get rid of the finishes and we just go with the bourbon. So, 97 proof, <laughs> memory's getting better. 97 proof on the bourbon. And that smells a lot like an unfinished bourbon. Caramel. Vanilla. And maybe some molasses. There's some, something else in there that I'm not hardly recognizing. It's easy to pick up, but my palate doesn't have a name for it yet. So, or at least my nose sniffer ain't, doesn't have a name for it yet. Let's, look, let's see if I can find it on the palate. Cheers. Okay. Almost like a walnut and a cherry is what I was trying to figure out. But a little thin, like it it feels like it wants to coat your mouth and be really viscous, but then it doesn't. So that was a little confusing. Um, what is, I was just now noticing there's some serious difference in colors here between these two. And then this one is almost black in comparison. I mean, let me put the glasses out here in the front just to give you a second to have a, a peek. This is really, really light compared to these others. Now, I realize I did that and you probably can't even see the glasses. So if you look at it now, you can see that there is some serious color difference here between the straight bourbon and the two finished barrels. So that's pretty cool, but that explains why the viscosity wasn't there as much as you know you wanted it to really coat and, and be, and it wasn't. Still really good, has those nice rich bourbon flavors that you wanted. It was easy um, on the Kentucky Hug, again, 97 proof after coming off the 110 plus. Not expecting it to really just reach in there and grab a hold real good, but this in Orc 2. Last but not least, as we said, the proprietor, 15 year. And I really wanted it to share with you all. 126.7 proof, 15 years old. This bottle was 159.99 plus tax which I was really excited because the booze app told me it was supposed to be $179.99 plus tax. So I was just like, cha-ching, that's a score. You'll never see it cheaper in Alaska. So all right, first off, on the nose. Oh, oh. I got the hiccups, sorry. So soft oak 
believe it or not, out of 15 year. I get soft oak, I get caramel, I get vanilla, I get breadcrumbs. I get cherry. And some cinnamon. That's a lot to get on the nose. That's really a lot to get on the nose. I am impressed. So, like I said, most expensive bottle we got in the bar so far. But maybe the one of the nicest tasting, or at least smelling things that I have uh, put under my nose. And just because I don't own it doesn't mean I haven't tried it. So, this is this is exceptional. Cheers. Candy, anyone? That's beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. That tastes like a cherry candy. That was... That is amazing. Man, that's good. That's, that's not anything like I've ever had. I've never seen anything or tried anything or heard of anything that came with that much of a cherry forward that wasn't a little off-putting. Most people that, 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 man, that's good. Like, that's, y'all about to see me have a second sip. Cheers. It's not even close. This one's got more flavor than any two of these combined. It's more viscous than all three of them combined. And the flavor palette and profile is one of the best I've ever, I've ever tasted. That is an exceptional bottle. And if you ever get a chance to get your hands on one of these, you should, but not just on the proprietor because I don't want to take away from what these are for their price points. These were amazing. 